You know, one of the things that I really like about the AAF is it kind of creates these old school football type games. A lot of defensive matchups where each play means so much, and personally, well, I don't think I would like every single game to be that way, I do really enjoy these types of games. I thought the San Diego Fleet defense played very well, and let me show you how they were able to be so successful. On a play like this, for example, it's going to be a cover one hole, and as you see, the whole play design is to toss it to the halfback who's going to be running a flat route, and he should end up getting pretty well open. Because if you take a look, the guy who's in charge of guarding him is a linebacker, and typically when you have a running back going up against a linebacker, it's pretty good news for your offense. However, take a look at San Diego Fleet's safety on this play. He's going to do a very good job of reading what's going on and breaking in and making a tackle. This is a huge gamble because now this basically turns it from a cover one to a cover zero. I mean, if he doesn't make this tackle, it could easily be a touchdown for all we know. But he does end up making the tackle and stops Atlanta short of a first down and a half the punt. Let's talk about how the San Diego Fleet offense was finally able to get going. And this really was the first great offensive play that the Fleet had up until this point. It's a third down and nine at midfield, so it's very important that they convert here. And if you take a look, it's going to end up being a cover two zone and those are the routes that the fleet receivers are going to be running. So the first thing you're going to want to take a look at is right there, as there should be a gap in coverage and a receiver could end up trying to get open in that area. You're going to take a look at the receiver right there, as he is in that gap in coverage, however he's still short of the first down. But what's really interesting to watch here is the safety is actually going to break down to try to cover up that gap in coverage, which really he shouldn't do since they're already safe as it's third down and if he makes a tackle then it wouldn't be a first down. This is going to now allow Nelson Spruce, who is that receiver who's in that area, simply just run past and get wide open. This was really a heads up play by Spruce. This isn't what his initial route is designed for him to do. However, he's very aware and runs and ends up picking up what's a huge first down as they couldn't get anything offensively going for almost the entire first half. This play kind of kicks started the fleet's offense and was really a huge reason they were able to get back into it. This next play was another big third down conversion. As you see, they're at the 35 yard line so it could be a long field goal, however we all know AAF kickers aren't exactly NFL level quality kickers so it definitely is a risk trying to kick a 52 yard field goal so they really want to convert on this play. As you see, once again Atlanta is playing a cover 2 zone and those are the routes that the fleet are going to be running. This actually isn't the best way to beat a cover 2 zone, it looks like this was kind of designed to beat man coverage, however since it is a cover 2 zone, they could be in some trouble. The one route in particular I'm going to want you to take a look at is that curl route right there. Typically the curl route is a great way to beat man coverage, however since he should be in the middle of a zone, it shouldn't be that great of a route. However if you take a look, all of Atlanta's defenders play very soft in this play. No one is playing in tight coverage at all. Because of this, it ends up being an easy 10 yards because of the space the wide receiver was given. Personally, I think this was a really good read by Philip Nelson. I mean, once he read what kind of coverage this was, he probably shouldn't have even been looking at that route as that should have no chance of working. However, he was still aware enough to see that route was ended up getting open, despite it not really seeming like it was going to get open on paper, and make a throw to pick up some yards. This next play is easily the biggest play of the game, as it's a 4th down and 1, down 3 with 9.09 left in the 4th quarter. This is actually a really interesting play call. As you see here, San Diego is going to have their center and right guard double team an interior lineman, and they're also going to have a tight end and right tackle double team another interior lineman. From there, they'll have their tight end have a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and then there's something going to fake as there's going to be a fullback run to that right side of the screen. However, of course, that's just a fake. What they're actually going to do is then send their right tackle over to block the defensive end and then pull their left guard over to block the edge rusher. The reason they're doing this is for leverage and for angles. This gives you a better angle to block the defensive end and you don't really need as good of an angle blocking the edge rusher which is why they're doing it this way as their running back can then just break around the edge rusher and get past him. So really there's one Atlanta player to watch, him right there. If he ends up breaking to the outside, this play isn't going to work out at all. However, if he breaks to the inside, this could be very good news for San Diego. That's why this fake is so important. If he doesn't buy that it could be a fullback run, this play is pretty much as good as dead. However, if you take a look, he does in fact buy that it could be a fullback run as he creeps to the middle of the screen. Also, if you notice, their left guard doesn't do a great job of blocking the edge rusher, but as I mentioned before, that doesn't really matter as much, as you know, running back now has a ton of space to just get past him and run into the end zone for a touchdown. That's exactly what he does, and it's a huge reason the fleet were able to take the lead and eventually win this game. Rap, 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 rap,